Thank you so much for joining us. You are in for another treat. It's a sidecar conversation with Dr. Nathan Unruh, and I'm PK. Today's topic, this sounds very simple. It's one word that will change your life, and it's a book that's written by Dan Britton, Jimmy Page, and John Gordon. Dr. Unruh, talk a little bit about how this one word can change our life. I know for you, this has been something that you've implemented even into your life. It's been pretty powerful. Yes, very powerful. You know, I think we're all taught that you have to have goals, written goals, or even more important. So for years, I would have pages of goals that I would try to execute throughout the year. Long-term and short-term? Long-term and short-term, one year, three year, five mm-hmm. years, smart goals, you know, make them specific, make them measurable, you know, the whole smart thing that we talked about. This was a book that I was encouraged to read by one of my mentors, and the book takes 44 minutes to read. It's a very quick read. And it absolutely reshaped the way that I look at how I look at my goals. And so what we find is that 87% of people every year make a new New Year's resolution mm-hmm. or set new goals. And about 206 million people each year do that. But guess what percentage of them never oh, make it? It's high. Yeah. I know. 50% will fail by the end of January. It's hard. So it is hard. So you really have to simplify the process. So too many of us just set to do goals versus to be goals. And that was the big distinction in this book versus a, just a list of to do's. How about to be? And so the most important part of, of a life change is a change of heart. If we don't have a change of heart, we just keep doing things the same way, hoping for a different result. But the definition of insanity, right? Well, and that's when you make the same New Year's resolution every year. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to lose weight. You never do. Exactly. Right, right. One word process is rooted in surrender and simplicity. Simplicity, not in our strength and resolve. Simplicity, when done right, will always bring impact just as focus light creates a laser that can cut through steel. One word creates laser type focus. It stretches us in all dimensions of our life, spiritual, emotional, social, career, financial, physical, and in our family as well. One word will change the way you think. It will change our relationships, our actions, and even how we speak. And ultimately, it changes our heart because that's where the change needs to really start. So let's get into the process of the one word. And it's really a simple three-step process. The first step is you need to prepare your heart. And how you prepare your heart is take a break. Disengage from your hectic life. Look inside. Eliminate all noise and clutter. And remember, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. The old John Wooden quote. Mm -hmm. So I just find a place where I can just relax. I'm not going to be interrupted. Shut my phone off. Shut the TV off. And just think. That's hard to do. Very hard to do. We're, We're never still. Never still. Mm -hmm. But it's such an important part of this process of choosing your one word. You know, Abraham Lincoln said, if I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend six hours sharpening my axe. Mm -hmm. So you got to really get focused. Activity does not mean achievement. We also got to remember that. Sometimes our hearts are similar to hard-packed soil, and the seed never takes root. Other times it takes root and grows, but worries, desires, and distractions of life can choke it out. So there are times where the seed falls on good soil of a heart that is ready to receive it. That seed grows and produces a great harvest. If you want a great harvest, don't go through the motions. Really take this time to prepare your heart. And so the first step is just remove yourself from your hectic life. Get your heart ready. Number two is discover your word by looking up. There's a word meant just for you and a word meant just for me. So you have to take that time. Once you've prepared your heart, you look up. And this should be peaceful, not stressful. It should be filled with really hope, not despair, and fueled by faith and not fear. So plug in. What plug in means, take time for prayer. Take time to meditate. Take time to be by yourself. You don't have to create your word. Your word has been created for you. You have to just discover it. Then the other component to this, discover your word by looking up, is to listen. Listen up. Confirm it through scripture and staying plugged into the source. God will reveal the word through a book, a devotional, a small voice, or multiple different other areas that you can see your word. I've done this process now for a few years, and it's amazing when your one word comes to you. Then all of a sudden, you start seeing it places. You start hearing it. Or maybe a resource is recommended. You'll find your word. And it's an amazing and very powerful process. The third component, live your word out by looking out. you got to look at this word and apply it to every aspect of your life. 
This is the, really the hardest part. Not only if you've prepared your heart, you've looked up, but now you have to live it out. Don't just check the box, but actually experience the journey by using in this one word and focusing on this one word. You got to opt for a new word each and every year. So my first year that I did this, my word was subtraction. And subtraction meant to me is that I needed to remove a lot of garbage from my life. Next year, I used the word execution. I needed to get some things done. And so my word was execution. This year, my word is essentialism, really only focusing on the of vital things I need to do and removing the trivial many and being disciplined to do that. So my one word is with me each and every day. So I make my one word a part of every aspect of my life. My passcodes for different things is my one word. So the one word has got to be in front of me. I print it on pieces of paper and put it on mirrors. Mm -hmm. It's in my car. It's around me all the time. When I have to make a decision, I use this one word. So as you look at a whole laundry list of to-do goals versus your one word becomes a to-be. And when you start to be something, you start to see a much larger impact. And it's a very simple process. So again, just to give some clarity to this discussion, I encourage you really to pick up the book. It's a 44-minute read. Read through it. Dive into this process. To summarize the process again is, number one, prepare your heart. Because out of silence comes power. You need to ask yourself during that process, what do I need? What's in my way? What needs to go? That helps to prepare your heart. Number two, again, discover your word by looking up. And lastly, live your word out by looking out. I think that's a great encouraging word for us because I think we've all been there where we've made those New Year's resolutions or personal promises, whatever you would like to call them. But this is one way that it's really going to permeate our lives. So I really appreciate hearing about one word. You've been listening to a sidecar conversation. And the book, again, is called One Word That Will Change Your Life, written by Dan Britton, Jimmy Page, and John Gordon.